morning everybody um so me and lucas are back with another facebook live video we apologize for not doing one yesterday we weren't really feeling it and um, to be honest we're not prepared um we're in a bit of a different setting today so we're back in the well we're in the living room um lucas's dad my husband has taken over the space that we were using in the other room so we're now we've been sent over into this room instead we've got sophia behind the camera shout hello hello <laughs> um, and obviously lucas you might know already from now so today's video we thought we would do animals so we've got a selection of farm animals like and domestic animals what you might keep as pets then we'll move on to insects and then we'll move on to some wild animals so we're going to look at each one we're going to have a guess at what they are guess at how we spell then the, the name of the animal and then maybe lucas will do what noise it makes if it makes a noise okay yep right we're going to start off quite easy and we're going to look at this one is that one showing quite well to you yeah okay what animal is this hopefully this is an easy one what do we get from this animal lucas well, what noise no what um, what does it produce milk it produces milk which is really good for your bones so what animal is it lucas Cow. It's a cow. And how do we spell cow? Have a quick think. Write it down or tell a grown up. How do we spell cow, Lucas? Kirka Akwe. And then Lucas is going to do the noise. So if you know the noise, do it along. In three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> That's it. Moo! So a cow goes and moo. Okay? That's that one. So another easy one, just a very short name. What animal is this? Is that in focus? No, it's like shining on it there, but you can okay. sort of see it. Yeah, there we go. Ah, okay. What animal is this? Lucas, what animal is it? Pig. Pig, and how do we spell pig? Have a think. Yeah, either write it <laughs> either write it down or tell your grown up how do you spell pig? Lucas, how do we spell pig? Put it go. That's it. And have a think about what what noise do pigs make. Have a think. And out loud after three, do the noise. One, two, three. Oink oink. Oink oink go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Pig. So this is another farmyard animal. So what a farmyard animal is this? Can you see that? Yeah. This is a bit of a longer name. What do we get from this animal? Is it lamb? No. What produce? What do we make jumpers out of? Cotton. Wool. You get yeah. wool from these animals. So what animal is it, Lucas? Sheep. Sheep. And how do we spell sheep? Have a stick. <laughs> Go on, sir. Her. Yep. Yeah. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, That's it. The uh, her uh, 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 per. So it's using your phonics, it's sh e. Okay? So that's sheep. And what noise does a sheep make? After three, one, two, three. Bah. Oh, bah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> right, this one is not not really a farm animal. But it can what, be. It, it can could be. be it could be on the farm. A different mm -hmm. type of this. But mainly, a lot of people have these as pets. This is an easy one, Lucas. What is this one? Dog. And have a think how we spell dog. Go on, how do we spell it? Dog. Dog. Right. Now, these make lots of different noises. So what noise does dogs make? What do you want to do a, do a dog noise. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Or oh, yap, yap, yap. Depending on how big or little they are. Yap, yap, yap. <laughs> This is another one a lot of people have these as pets. Yeah. Have a think about what this is and think, think about how you spell it if you know straight away. I think this is quite an easy one. So what animal is this, Lucas? Cat. It's a cat. So think about your phonics and how you spell cat. Cat. Lucas, how do you spell cat? Cat. That's right. Cat. And what nose do cats make? Meow, that's it. Meow. When they're hungry. Also, the time to make that really long purry noise to make them really happy. If you're giving them a stroke. Look. That's it, so you can do that well. Lucas is not quite good at that noise. 
That's it. Oh, nice yeah. kitty. <laughs> right. <laughs> so this one's a longer name. We're back to the farm animals. So what animal is this? Have a think about this. And what does... <laughs> What animal is this? Sabine's behind the camera doing an impression of one. So Lucas, what animal is it? Chicken. Chicken. Now this is a hard one to spell, so if you break it down, ch -i -ken. Okay? And how do we spell it, Lucas? Well, to be honest, you basically just told them. I know, I'm trying to help. k h e k k e n a That's it. Got lots of little k's and a big k in there. So k h e k e Little ker, kicking ker, eh, no. And what noise do chickens make? That's it. And just have a think, do you know what we get from chickens? What food do chickens produce that we eat? We have a lot of them here. I don't know. And what do they produce? Eggs. Eggs, yeah, yummy eggs. <laughs> okay. So the next one, this is it. So can you see that? Mm, kind of. Kind, what do you mean kind of? Yeah. Okay. So what animal is this? Lucas, what animal is this? Horsey. Horse, yeah. Lovely horse. And how do you spell horse? Have a think. Write it down or tell your grown up. How do you spell horse? Lucas, how do you spell horse? H R S E. H R S E. That's what it says horsey. That's it. And do you know what noise a horse makes? Nay. <laughs> That's my best impression. Nay. Yeah. It makes a really strange noise. I'm not very good at it. Right, so yeah. you might have seen these. Yep. At your local lake or pond. Rotherham you might Valley. have been and, and fed them. Yeah, we sometimes go to our local area, which is Weather Valley, and feed them. Not the moment unfortunately, but Doesn't normally. So what animal is this? Lucas, what animal is it? Duck. So again, you're thinking about your little cousin and your big cousin. and see if you can spell duck. Okay. How do we spell it, Lucas? Duck or curlicker kicking That's it. Duck or curlicker kicking That's duck. And then the last one for this. Now this can be a wild, well, out in the wild, in nature. You might see this animal. You might see it on a farm. Or oh, some people do have them as pets. So what animal is this? And there's an important time coming up soon, very soon, that involves this animal quite a lot. What animal is it, Lucas? Rabbit. Rabbit. Yep. And how do we spell rabbit? Rabbit. We've got one here. How do we spell rabbit? How do we spell, look, this is our rabbit. How do we spell rabbit? Rut a b b it That's it. Rut a b b it Put that one down there because we've done the rabbit. Okay. Right, so those are all kind of like the domestic <laughs> animals and the farm animals. So now what we've got is insects. So a lot of these we don't make noises with. So I'll start with quite an easy one. So what animal is this? I can't see it. Oh. What animal is it, Lucas? Fly. Well, what insect? I shouldn't say what animal. What insect is it? <laughs> fly. It's a fly. So have a think about how you spell fly. Lucas, how do you spell fly? Fertilier. Fertilier. Yeah. Why is it like that? You see these buzzing around. Okay, that's a fly. Oh, now we've got this one. You might see these when it's being wet outside. You see them on the path sometimes. And there's another one that you what's do. What's this? Yeah, that's an excellent set. So what's this? It's got a little shell on its back and it slithers around. What is it, Lucas? Snail. That's it. And do you know, have a think, do you know how you spell snail? S-n-a-i-l-a. Well done, that's s-n-a-i-l-a. Snail. It's got a little house on its back and a snail can curl itself up and go into its shell fully so maybe when it has a sleep or if it's being attacked and it's scared it'll curl itself up into a ball into its shell and it protects it because it's a nice hard shell so that nothing can hurt it that's good now we've got something that looks quite like a snail 
These are slimy and slithery, aren't they? It's basically just the same as snail. It is. It's like it's without a shell. It's like a snail, but without the hard shell, which means it can't protect itself as well. But these can also damage your garden sometimes if they get in any of your plants. What is it, Luca? Slug. A slug. And sometimes if you've had um, rain overnight and things, you'll wake up and you'll see little glittery trails everywhere and it looks like it's glittery, but it's slimy. And that's where you, all your slugs have been. How do we spell slug? Settler Ugger. That's it, Settler Ugger. A nice yeah. slimy slug. <laughs> Right, this one, next one, we're starting to see more of these. We've seen quite a few in the garden this week, haven't we? Na we've, we've seen some really big ones. Yeah. <coughs> we felt like we saw like a queen one in the house once. Yeah, yeah. So what and what insect is it, Lucas? Bee. A bee. And do you know what bees produce that is very important? Honey. Honey, yeah. So they go into flowers and they get pollen from flowers and they make honey. So it's do you know how to spell bee? But uh, yeah, it's an easy one. But uh, uh. with honey, if you dip apples in it, it actually tastes really nice. Yeah, we love honey. It's really important to protect bees. So if everyone gets trapped in the house, we never ever try and hurt it. Try and get it out of the window without hurting it because they're very important. We've also seen a couple of these yesterday. We did our little exercise around just around the houses. It went out on the scooter and one was hanging on to Lucas's scooter for about half an hour, wasn't it? So what is this insect? Bright red and it's got black nice spots. Scooter. Yeah, it's on the handle. Remember? No, I can't remember yesterday. Uh, yeah, I used carrying spheres. Yeah, no, it was on your scooter when we were outside. Anyway, so what is this insect, Locus? Ladybird. A ladybird, that's it. So this is a long word. So have a think about how you... Have a think about how you uh, spell ladybird. And then write it down. I'll tell you, grown up. If you can, if you want to break it down a bit more, do it as lady bird. Break it down to two words, and then you put them together. Lucas, how do you spell lady bird? That's it. All you have to do. That's it. Lady bird. And these are beautiful. You see a lot of these flying around, and they're red with black spots. Sometimes they're more orangey with black spots, and then sometimes you get black ones with red spots. Don't, well, I don't actually know if they're poisonous. I've been told that they're um, male It's uh, something that... Oh, Sophia's been told that they're male ladybirds. So maybe Google that if you're not sure. And you know now this next one I'm not happy about. Not happy about this one at oh, all. Hey, we get a ton of what animal well. is this? Uh, insect is this? These have taken over my garage. Do you know what animal is... Uh, insect keeps saying animal. What insect is it, Lucas? Oh, nope, don't lean on that. A spider. A spider. Oh. And do you know how many legs spiders have? Eight? Yep, spiders all have eight legs. And how do we spell spider? That's it, yep. Yeah. So, serpa Spiders have eight legs and they come in all different shapes and sizes. You can get little baby ones, you can get teeny tiny ones, you can get... If you go in my garage, you find lots and lots of very, very, very big ones. Very long legs. So, this next one is another little slimy insect that wriggles around. And it lives mainly underground. You sometimes see if it's being damp, it might come up out, out of the ground. Them. What insect is it? Worm. It's a worm. So have a think about how you spell the word worm. I'll give you a clue, it's four letters. Worm. Lucas, how do you spell worm? We're art retina. We're art retina. There you go. Slink, slim, slimy, slinky, slidey worm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of any more words. Right. Slinky. So we've got two more insects left. Now, I'm not keen on this one either. Oh, no. What's this one? I've got so it looks very one. similar. Yeah, Lucas has just said that's a clue. So it's got a sting on its tail. And it's black and yellow, a bit like a bee, but not like a bee at all. What insect is it, Lucas? Wasp. A wasp. They just sting like random people. Well, the thing is, if you get if a bee stings something, then the bee doesn't survive. When a wasp stings, it can carry on being a wasp. 
So bees will only ever sting if they have to defend themselves or if, it, if they're scared, but a wasp will sting just for the sake of it. Sophia, yeah? Well, I have to say a fact about why bees die. If you want to. If Sophia's got gone. a fact about why bees die. She's just going to come round. Okay. So the reason why bees die once they've uh, stung somebody is because at, at the end of their stinger, it's like a little hook. So it like hooks onto the inside of your... Uh, so then uh, when it tries to pull it back out, it, I know this is disgusting, but it rips the stinger out of them and they die. Right. <laughs> Brilliant fact. Thank you. So do we know how to spell wasp? What a Yep, yeah, what a Can you see that one? All right, I'm still holding yeah. it. We've got quite a lot of daylight in, in the room that we're in. We've got lots of big windows. So we tried to close the curtains, but the light keeps shining. So I hope you can see the pictures clear. And the last insect, we went on a walk earlier this... No, was it yesterday? Yeah. We yeah. saw four of these yeah, flying they, around in a group. Wasn't there like six or seven? I don't know. I didn't, there was I didn't like know. four kid ones and then like two... One or two going up it was it was a family of butterflies having their hour of exercise <laughs> <laughs> oh i just said what they were <laughs> so we'll give that one away then i just said that they're butterflies there we go so there's lots and lots of different types of butterflies and what's good is because we we're all on this lockdown is if you're wanting something to do you don't need a garden you could look out of your window and write a list of all the insects that you can see in the animals and you've got your birds you've got your insects you've got things like butterflies that'll be flying around you might see some flies and bees so you could make like a little nature watch list and each time you see it tick it off tick another <coughs> put another tick next to it and see how many you can see so you could just do that for 20 minutes Okay, so this is the first one. So have a think about this, where what this might be. It's not something you see often. You might have seen it if you've been to a zoo. Lucas, what's this one? Penguin. Penguin. So how do we spell penguin? See if you know without looking. It's a bit difficult. P e n g o n. Yeah, well done. That's really yeah. good. No, this is really difficult. Per etna, go o etna. Penguin. Penguins are beautiful, but you don't see them very often, especially in this country. They don't live here. They live where it's nice and cold. So you, if you have seen them, it'll have been in a zoo, I expect. So this is a really colourful animal. Look at that um, beautiful colours. Red, yellow and blue. And you can get these, you can see these, if you've seen these in maybe, you know, a zoo or somewhere like that. Um, then you will have seen that they come in all different beautiful colours. They look very exotic. What animal is it, Lucas? Parrot. Parrot. Some people do have parrots at home. They are very loud. And do you know that some parrots can talk? They repeat what they hear. That would be really annoying, but to me. But <laughs> and how do we spell parrot? Parrot. That's it. Did you get that one right? Parrot. With parrot, you want to know me because it's annoying her. <laughs> <laughs> right, this one's another one that you'll have only seen if you've been on a safari or if you've been to a zoo. What's this one? Oh, Sophia's saying North Africa, <laughs> which is where you'd go on a safari. Oh. <laughs> what animal is this? We love You might not have seen this, it's got a big sharp horn in the front of its head. What animal is it? Rhino. A rhino, yep. It's Rhino is short for rhinoceros. And what does it do with the horn? What's it use it for? Poking people or swooping them up? Yeah, it's doing a bit more than poking poke, it. If poke, it feels like it's in danger, it will charge and then put its head down so that it gets you within and, and, and stampedes you out of the way with its horn. It'll either stab you or push you right out of the way. Like a herd. Yeah, if the herd's doing it out here, you need to run really, really quick. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you spell rhino? Have a think. I know. Have a write down because there might be a letter that you might miss out because it's a little bit tricky, it's a bit silent. How do you spell rhino? That's it. So it might be the her that you might have missed because it, you don't hear it very well. Rhino. Okay. Oh, this is one of my favourites. We've got one here. Not quite as realistic, but we've got one here. There you go. What is this animal? This is a beautiful animal. 
It's kind of like a round mouth. And it's got a very long trunk. And they are they grow up to be really, really big, some of them. What is it, Lucas? Elephant. <laughs> Did you not know that was an elephant? I couldn't see oh, it. Did you not look before I picked it up? Right. So elephant, again, there's a sound in there. So you need to think about your phonics. I'll give you a clue. There's no f. There's no f in elephant. So think about your other phonics sounds. How you get elephant? How you get that f sound? Lucas, how do you spell elephant? That's right. So you need to use your phonics sounds, your per-h sound, to get that f. Like so in my name. Yeah, like in Sophia's name. Sophia's spelt with a per her. So, so it's, oh, per, her, yeah. oh, that's it. A lot of people, when we ask them to spell Sophia, they write down so off it, it ah, which you can spell it like that. But hers has got the phonic sounds with the per her. So elephant, Sophia, it's not furs, it's per, per and her. So try and have a think as well. Look around your house, see if you can think of any other items or things that you can see that might have the per her sound instead of the f sound. Okay? Right. And this is the next one. We've just got three more after this. What animal is this? You might have been lucky enough to see this in the wild. A lot of people might have seen it in the zoo. A very, very, very long neck. I'm one of these. Legs. I'm one of them. You can't see me. Right. What animal is this? Giraffe. Giraffe. Now, this is another tricky spelling. So, think about giraffe. Giraffe. Have a guess. Have a write down or show a grow uh, tell a grown up. Do you, want to, do you want to have a guess without looking? Go on then. Get good uh, Well done. High five. I well it, done. that's why. <laughs> oh, I cheated. <laughs> well, if you got it right and you put get it at for for air, well done. Really well done. Lucas gets no points for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Once at school, we were doing this thing where we combined like two insects or animals, and I did a draft on a snake, so I called it Smash. <laughs> okay, um, right, that might be quite a good game to play while we're in lockdown. Try and think of your two favourite animals, and if you put them together, what would you call them? And then try and draw a picture of them. If you post it to Busy Kids, we'll put it out on our on our stream. Right, so what animal is this? I love these. Okay. These are my favourite when I was younger. You it's me. Lots of toys. It's me. Yeah, I call, <laughs> I call Lucas this as well. What is it? Monkey. That's right. So mon oh. monkey, there's lots and lots of different types of monkeys. So think first of all, or we'll do that in a second. First of all, think about how you spell it. Try and break it down. So monkey. Monkey. How do you spell it, Lucas? M oh, I was about to say monkey. Yeah. No. Uh, you did monarchy. Monarchy. So it's me uh, So this one on the picture is a chimpanzee. Or you might have seen ones that look orange and have got really long hair. They're orangutans. There's baboons. Baboons you can tell because they've got a big red bum. So there's loads <laughs> yeah. and loads and loads of spider monkeys that are black and white. There's absolutely loads of different types. The biggest one, I think, is the silverback gorilla, which is a massive big black gorilla. And all the hair on its back is like a silver. And those are in the wild, so um, they're protected, those. Gorilla? Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what animal is this? <laughs> Lucas, what animal is this? Why? Well, uh Lion. Lion. Come on, take that off your head. Lion. So, have a think about how you spell lion. Lion. How do you spell it? That's it. And then, Lucas, what noise does a lion make? Oh, yeah. Like, it does a big growl. It doesn't cough afterwards. <coughs> right. And as last one. What animal is this? It's beautiful. Black and white stripes. Very distinctive. I think in America they call it something different. They pronounce it differently. So what animal is it? Zebra. Zebra, yeah. In America I think they say zebra. Yeah, zebra. Yeah. That's just how they did pronounce things differently. Oh yeah, there's one more there. So how do we spell zebra? Z-E-B-R-A. 
the r That's it. At the end it's the the it the r r r ah. It's beautiful. Black and white stripes. All you have to remember is Z and R. And very last one. What animal is this? Again, it's got very distinctive stripes on it. What animal is it, Lucas? Tiger. And have a think about how we spell tiger. Tiger. I um, know something that you can remember, just to remember this. Okay, go on. Tig, I mean, uh. Go on, then how do you spell it then? Tiger. Yeah, so depending on how you remember best, you could do tig. Uh, and that's how you spell tiger. And tigers make a very similar noise to lions, which is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tiger also does like a big growl. So and there are the animals. So, like I said, a good game if, is if you go into your garden or you're looking out your window, get a little piece of paper, write down each insect you see or any little animals or birds, anything like that. You could also do it with nature so you could look at what trees you can see or flowers. Do like a little tick list so each time you see a butterfly put a tick next to it and see how many you can see over the next week we'll be doing we are going to be back facebook live in every day and we've got a few different ideas we're going to look at some different experiments as well to do and um, and we'll also put this on youtube and put a link in so you can find it with the rest of our videos all our videos that we've been doing are now on youtube and i've pinned that post to the top of the busy kids page so if you do want to watch older episodes we've covered things like um maths geography the body the body yeah time. we've done mm? time time yeah we've done telling fractions. the time fractions <laughs> we, we did art we did art with sophia yeah so we've done loads and loads of different things if you don't want to be scrolling <laughs> the news feed, then all you do is go to the link at the top of my busy kids page and it's pinned to the top take you to youtube and they're all on there in order okay so i'll put this one on later today so we shall see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock bye